No one knows for sure how many people the Chinese Communist Party have and still illegally detained in brainwashing classes during the persecution of Fulang Gong practitioners. For extrajudicial detenting people under the rule of the Chinese Communist Party, the brainwashing center is first of all black prison, then a brainwashing transformation center. According to the information collected by Fulangafamingwu.com so far about brainwashing classes, there are at least 3,640 brainwashing classes with names and address. The CCP's brainwashing centers actually have a nice label called the Law Education Center. However, its actual operation is illegal. It has neither legal nor educational operation inside. To be precise, it is forced transformation of individual. According to figures provided by the Chinese authorities, there are 681 prisons and 310 labor camps in China. It is hard to obtain the genuine number of so-called Law Education Centers. The Brainwashing Center is not an official administrative division of the CCP. It has many nicknames for outsiders, such as the law study courses, the law training courses, the law training centers, the law education bases, the addiction treatment centers, or the rehabilitation centers, etc. The function of the brainwashing center or courses is to detain innocent citizens without any judicial process. Their entire process of arresting, detaining, or beating people is not backed up by any legal procedures. There is no trial, no deadline, no supervision, and no legal responsibility. It is completely illegitimate. According to FallenDafamingYui.com website, due to the information control and blockade of the CCP, mainland Falun Gong practitioners have to risk their lives to collect a detailed list of brainwashing centers. There are at least over 3,640 centers with specific addresses and names. This should be a statistic data a few years ago. There are still many more brainwashing centers out there which are totally unknown to the outside world. According to the data at that time, there were over 3,000 people detained died as a result of torture in the brainwashing centers, directly or indirectly. Therefore, it is safe to say it is a kind of very terrifying torturing center. Tang Bao, New York University visiting scholar, former mainland human rights lawyer said that the educational courses were rampant everywhere during the China Cultural Revolution period. Most were in humane prisons and lynching places. Human rights disasters case piled up. After the Cultural Revolution, educational courses still find their ways to exist one way or another. The brainwashing centers were one of them. As you know, the brainwashing center is not like a prison and a detention center which are a formal entity based on somewhat legal procedure. However, the legal education center has no legal basis. The vast majority of the people in custody are fallen gone practitioners who are detained there by kidnapping. There is no legal document or procedure at all. Ting Bao pointed out in an article that although the Xinjiang concentration camp has aroused strong concern from the international community, however, it is not a new tactic of the CCP arbitrarily arresting and detaining people with specific identities, and then using torture to brainwash and bend their spirits or belief in so-called ideology transformation fall into the category and description of concentration camp. Its purpose is to convert fallen gong practitioners with force or threatening means. Therefore, even it's nominally established for law study and discipline education, in fact, it has nothing to do with the actual legal system. It is set up for the purpose of forcing others to bend their thoughts and faiths to their preference through torture, through brainwashing propaganda. It is reported that Falun Gong practitioners are forced to watch various videos blaspheming Falun Gong, brainwashing them non-stop until they are fatigued. They also deprive it the proper sleep of detained Falun Gong practitioners. These are also some of the most effective brainwashing expertise accumulated by CCP experts. He Jiwei, Falun Gong practitioner of China, who currently resides in Canada, said in an interview that she had been illegally arrested for brainwashing many times before she escaped from China. In the provincial brainwashing class, I was not allowed to sleep nine consecutive days and nine nights. They ordered the idle people of the society to monitor me, shut me alone in a room, and forced me to look at all the kind of videos attacking Falun Gong, those lying videos. Her Jiwei said that the Chinese authorities used various means to deal with her in order to force her to give up her faith. When you are kneeling down there, a group of people would turn around you, using the book of the Falun Gong to knock on my head. Then when you are very tired, they let you stand up there for a long time as a punishment. Leaning against the wall was forbidden. Also the ground was crawling with insects. Later, I even tied me to an iron chair for over 20 days. When I said something in protest, they spray pepper water to me. According to the report of the Human Rights Watch, brainwashing centers and black jails have emerged as one of the most serious and widespread extrajudicial detention measures in modern Chinese history since their appearance in 2003. 